Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am back again with Jacob due to popular demand and how much you guys love him. It's true. I doubt that. No, people did comment. You. People did comment about it, really. <laughs> I wouldn't make that up. So today we're gonna give some facts about us. It's kind of like a newlywed game, but I think those are really boring, so we're just gonna give you the facts and not do the whole writing down thing. Okay. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna start. We're gonna ask each other five questions each, okay? Who proposed marriage first? She did. She did, yeah. She actually proposed to me, yeah. It's funny, because we always used to... We had actually talked about getting married when we were dating. Mm -hmm. And I remember you asked me, what if I proposed to you first? You know, you know, I'd be flattered. And I think a lot of guys feel like that's their moment, you know, and I think she was worried that she was didn't want to. She didn't want to take that away from me, but I didn't see a big deal about it. I thought it was flattering, I and mean, we always thought it was like kind of like a race to see who was going to propose yeah. first. Yeah, I so. remember my mom like gave me shit about it. She was like, "That's a man's moment," blah blah blah, and I'm like, "Well, you know, I I knew that at some point you were going to propose, but at the same time, it's like if I get run over tomorrow, I don't want to be in the hospital thinking like, oh man, I didn't do what I could have done while well, I could have.' Mm -hmm. You know, I just feel like it's such a dumb thing to wait on when you know what you want. Yeah. I just don't get it. It was really cute how she did it too. Because it was a totally like a normal night, you know, we had our little date night and we like to watch movies at home because we're not really, you know, social people. Well, this was also when we lived in Irvine right next to my school, so there was literally nothing close to us. We'd have to mm -hmm. drive a pretty significant amount yeah, to yeah. get to anything too. Yeah, but she posed with inflatable crowns instead of rings, which I thought was adorable. <laughs> so, it was great. What comic character best describes me? I'd say that you are a mixture of Batman and... The Batman! I knew that was gonna happen. The Batman and Spider-Man, because you are kind of nerdy and dorky, but yeah. then I think that you're, you can also be suave when you're not trying to be suave. <laughs> okay, what drink best describes your wife on your wedding night? I would say Prosecco. Um, prosecco because you looked gorgeous, you looked elegant, you had that, you know, class that Champagne and Prosecco has. And it's something you don't just drink in, you know, it's something you Sip on. slowly take in and enjoy, and that's what I felt about you. Aww. Yes, yes. Plus, when you look at the pictures of the table that we were sitting at, you could see like seven Prosecco glasses that were all Yeah, but that's not what you drank that <laughs> night, it's what you're like, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, what frightens me the most? Heights. Yes, I'm a chicken shit when it comes to heights. Well, you're not really that chicken shit because you've still gone on flights with me. I think the ultimate chicken shit thing would be to not do anything about yeah, it, but I mean, you do still take planes with me anyways. Yeah, and I hate it. <laughs> and I have to be drinking <laughs> if, in order to stand it. And I'm, every time we get hit turbulence, it's like, You'd I be like grab, <laughs> grab the hand and just freak out. Just. It's just heights. It scares me. The idea scares me. Like, if I'm in a high building, I don't like to look down. Because mm -hmm. it's just like the anxiety and the fear just takes over. The funny thing is, like, he's he's seen me skydive, so that yeah. must have been fun for you. Yep. She was like, you want to go with me? I was like, <laughs> no. My turn. What is the most embarrassing thing you have done around me? I always fart in front of her. I don't even feel like that's embarrassing anymore, though. Yeah, it's probably not embarrassing anymore. <laughs> but it was. But it was. <laughs> now I kind of just like gloat about it. I'm yeah, like, you, you're just like, ha ha ha. Alright, what is my most repeated sentence or phrase? And do you find it irritating? And I'm very curious to know this. <laughs> Jacob doesn't do it anymore because I made so much fun of, of him about it that he's kind of stopped, but sometimes it still slips out. He says, naturally. Anytime I'd say something, he'd be like, Naturally. Yeah, I don't think I would ever do that. You'd fling your ponytail on my face and be like... I don't have one. Naturally. <laughs> but yeah, he said naturally. And I don't think it's irritating. I just think it's really funny to make fun of him of it. So, I mean, like, it's it works in my favor. And you know what? In all fairness to me, it was a very natural response <laughs> to say fucking naturally when I said it. Anyways, 
What dish does your wife prepare that she thinks you enjoy the most? Uh, she's really good at making toast. Uh, she prepares cereal in a way that no one else can prepare cereal. No, but seriously, like uh, the way I prepare toast and cereal is the best you're gonna get out of me, really. There's just- She also serves me my beer and my drinks. Yeah. Sometimes. That's all you can expect from me in the kitchen. Other than a fire, that's all that's gonna happen. She's really good at microwaving food, too. Yes, I am a microwave and toaster <clears throat> professional, so if you yeah. ever need that kind of artistry... Master of the microwave here. Yeah, if you need that artistry in your household, you know who to call. Alright, is there any special memory about me that you will never forget? I mean, I think there are a lot of moments like that, but I would say that the number one moment, aside from our wedding, which seems kind of like an obvious one, is the first time you came to Italy with me. I think that was a big deal because awesome. he did, like, he'd only met my mom and the rest of my family lives in Italy, so it was a very big deal, you know, to meet the rest of my family in our homeland mm -hmm. and to see where I was raised and to see like my country house, like seeing a lot of stuff that even some of my close friends haven't seen because obviously it's not like an everyday yeah. and thing. And that was the most, uh, yeah, it was very, the most special thing for me too is, you know, she met me and she's experienced a lot of my life. Like I, she, she met my parents before this, she'd seen where I'd grown up, you know, I'm like, I've only heard stories at this point about, you know, Italy. So getting to see that was a very, good bonding experience for us, I think, mm -hmm. as a couple. And, uh, well, yeah, and I think it, him seeing my culture helps him understand me better, too, you know. God damn it. <laughs> <sighs> the beats. The beats. That is one of the things he does that irritates me, by the way. <laughs> Number one thing to piss me off, do that. She hates it. I'm just doing it to show them the, what you... Anyways, next question. Which one of your habits would your wife like to break? I open cabinets and I don't close them. And she almost like, like today we went, grocery, yeah, we went grocery shopping today and I left a cabinet below the sink open so it like would like hit your knees and then I left uh, a high drawer up and she ran into the one lower and hit her knees and then she turned around and immediately almost got hit by the one that was raised and yeah. it's a near-death experience she, every she, time yeah yeah i was disciplined <laughs> it's so funny too because that's how you know he's been in the house like you see all these open cabinets like there was a demon in the house since we are at the last question i will take my shot but first you need to see my shot glass at that how cool is that it's gonna be me if I don't stop closing cabinets, it would be that skull right there. This is such a huge shot, too. It's not that big. Other than sexy, if you could describe me in one word, what would it be? You already stole my answer, sexy. No, if I could describe you in one word, I think I'd say sincere. Um, because to me, sincerity is tied to loyalty, because obviously if you're sincere, mm. you're loyal. Uh, and I definitely think that's one of the first things that I noticed about you, how you were transparent and trustworthy. Transparent in a good way, you know, like you're not hiding things. Uh, and I mean, that's one of the top things I look for, whether it's, you know, friendship or a relationship, of course, is to be able to look at someone and know that they're not bullshitting you because that's like the number one way a marriage is gonna fall apart. As soon as like there's fakeness involved, you can get the divorce papers ready because it's done. Anyways, anyway, I appreciate that answer. That was really, really nice. Thank you. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Let us know if you have other questions you want us to answer because I can always compile them and we can make another video answering your questions. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just having fun with this. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.